This is KBOI 2 News This Morning. Just about 614 and today for the 132nd time. The country's most famous groundhog has determined when spring arrives. Punks that Tawny Phil has emerged from hibernation in Pennsylvania this morning to make his winter prognostication. Yeah, meteorologist Mary Hours is live at Gobbler's Knob for all the festivities. Good morning, Brian and Kelsey. So this morning, it's been a party in Punxsutawney. Let me tell you, we've been here since this morning. People have been celebrating since last weekend, but Phil came out of his burrow and he predicted six more weeks of winter. So really through the next month, we're still going to be dealing with cold temperatures. You guys are doing pretty good there in the 40s, felt in the single digits and still feeling that way through today. So last year, Phil predicted six more weeks of winter and just two years before that, he predicted an early spring, and that was the 18th time in history. So you're probably wondering, 132 years, has there really only been one Punxsutawney Phil? And the answer is yes, of course. So Punxsutawney Phil will drink this special groundhog punch, and he drinks that once every summer, and then that gives him seven more years of life. And even back in the 1800s, this used to be a private event, and he used to do his prediction in private, but now, tens of thousands of people will trek to Gobbler's Knob for the celebration. And we had people on stage dancing, belly dancing, and their bare feet in this cold weather, in the snow. So we've got six more weeks of winter. The Northeast still going to be dealing with some brutal cold temperatures, the month of February, and even some strong storms in the Northeast. Back to you guys. Thanks, Mary. As we heard, Punxsutawney Phil has predicted six more weeks of winter. Not entirely sure how I feel about that, but let's take a look at our Banjo app to see what's going on over there in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. You can see Phil here looking a little concerned. Guess he just saw a shadow and made that prediction. You can see hundreds of people have gathered around, hundreds of people, excuse me, on their cell phones trying to get a glimpse of Phil. Let's take a look at this video. It looks very, very cold over there. So maybe Phil's prediction only pertains to Pennsylvania. Maybe it was six more weeks of winter over there and not over here. Not entirely sure. But what I am sure of is that that is definitely on the bucket list going to see Phil and celebrating over there. It looks like a really fun time. Back to you guys.